G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at this, this propeller. And why am I looking at this propeller? Well, surveil zones say these are virtually unbreakable and I'm willing to put that to the test. So I've got the 5.4 um, super tough propeller from surveil zone. I'm going to compare it today against the 5.4 gem fan, the good old gem fan that we love to bend and mutilate. So these are the two props. And I'm going to put them on the test stand, first of all, see how much thrust we get out of them, see how they perform. Um, different blade shape, as you can see, and the, the gem fan seems to be a bit more flexible than the other one. If I whoop, try, and, oh, I'll try and do it this way, so you can see which is the flexiest. If I push them together, you can see the gem fan probably bends a little bit more than the surveil zone one. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. So this is a little bit stiffer. So okay, enough of that. Let's put it on the stand, see how it goes. First of all, we'll try out the gem fan. Here we go. Four twenty one and one hundred and twenty five watts, I think it was roughly. Uh, I'll put some figures on the video here now so you can see what those numbers were in case you couldn't see them on the little display. So let's change that propeller to the indestructible surveil zone propeller. Oops, I just dropped it. Oh, no, it's broken. Huh, just kidding. Right, the moment of truth. Let's see what we get out of this baby. Wow, that's disappointing. I've got to say, it's quite disappointing. That's producing much less thrust for the same amount of power. So it's not as efficient, not as efficient as the good old gem fan. So if you're looking for performance, you're probably not going to be choosing this propeller, but if you just want to munch around in the trees and avoid having to change these things every five seconds. Maybe this is tougher. Let's put it to the test. Let's go out and do some flying and see whether these things really hold up as well as the gem fans. Okay, I'm here. I've got my Xiaomi camera. I'm testing that out. I refocused a bit. Don't think it's that good actually, but in terms of the refocusing, because I don't have my mini HDMI lead yet. But uh, I'm at a different area here where I'm hoping that I will be able to uh, do a bit more proximity. So there's more chance of me breaking a propeller in here. It won't be as fast, but there will be some proximity stuff. So got the uh, MXP230 ready to go here and I've got the Gem Fan 5.4s on to start with starting with the Gem Fan 5.4s then we'll switch to the to the surveil zone unbreakables or whatever they are anyway let's get on with it The only problem with unfamiliar territory is finding your damn quad when it crashes. Um, I'm not, no damage to the gem fan props that time. So let's have another go, see if we can break it. Yes, we broke a prop. We broke a gym fan prop. I think we'll change the props now to the surveil zone ones and see how they go. Finally, that took a bit of doing breaking a prop here. Right, as I said, we just broke a prop. Woohoo, good o. Um, here it is. Here's the, here's the MXP230, as you can see, and this prop is unbalanced now. Also, put some creases in this one, a crease in that one. 
there at the base so yeah these props are second hand now so I'm going to uh, reach inside my X hover MXP230 case lovely case review on this coming up soon um, I'm going to reach inside there and I'm going to change these props for the ones I got from Saval Zone. Noticed here, it didn't show up much on the bench but it really does show up on the quad. There's the difference in blade area between the Surveil, whoops, between the Surveil Zone props here and the gem fans. The gem fans have much more blade area. That probably explains why they produce more thrust and it perhaps explains why the these ones are not quite so efficient. And we'll find out. Let's go and well, finish changing the props and fly it. I only bought one set of these Saval Zone props because they're indestructible, you know. Uh, so let's see how long I can keep these things in one piece. And uh, I'll fly around the same area. Okay, here are the Surveil Zone props. Let's see how they work out. No prop damage. Well, I'll take it back and change the battery. It's getting low. See what happened after that one. That was quite interesting. Where is it? it? Must be over there somewhere. Again, another problem when you're. Uh... Oh, there it is. It's just here. <laughs> Let's go and see if we've got any broken props. Now, that's the kind of thing that will quite often crease a gem fan prop. Let's see what's happened here. No, no, look, no marks at all. Actually, these are looking pretty. Looking like pretty. These are looking like pretty solid props. I've got to say, you, I do notice a small improvement, a small hit in performance, but to be honest, they're holding up really well. Let's try something a little more, let's give it some real hammering now. Whoa, <laughs> that was good. I just had a really big twig. That would have certainly taken out a gem fan prop. <laughs> Let's go and see what's happened. I think we're over here somewhere. <laughs> Fly mini quads, get fit. So much rubbish. Oh, there it is. Love the bright LEDs, they really make it easy to find you. Your quad, I don't have a beeper on this, but the LEDs just light up like Christmas trees. So that means it's really easy to find it when you've crashed it and this was a pretty good one and what are the props looking like oh look at that <laughs> bloody brilliant i've got to say um i think if you're a a good flyer you may not want these props so much because of the hit on performance but if you are uh, just learning they save you a bloody fortune these will 
it's gonna make a new aerial now damn <laughs> so yeah so far I am impressed I am impressed from the durability perspective requires a lot more work on the throttle with these props because they just don't deliver the power but I mean I've had a few twigs and branches and things and and I mean these these aren't even nicked there's no marks on them they're just oh, I gotta say um I am impressed when I when they said they were making a unbreakable prop I expected it to be stiff and very very thick but these are thin and light and I think that means that it's not going to damage your motor if you do have a big whack like I've had a couple of spins in this and I uh, hit a few twigs and branches the transfer the energy isn't going to be transferred through to your motor shaft so it's not going to damage your motor but they stand up really really well oh, this is I think this is a thumbs up product as long as you're not looking for performance certainly in respect to the uh, my hand out of the way certainly in respect to the um, robustness they're great performance no, they don't deliver but that's not really that important and you're flying sort of something like this where I'm just doing a bit of proximity I don't need the performance I'm gonna have another flight this is great here are those gem fans that I put on for the first flight after that crash now you can see that one's broken completely lost the blade but all the others have got the white creases around the root that uh, signify the fact that they've been weakened by that crash um, this one not so bad perhaps but there is white creasing there around the root and this one quite bad so one was it you know one decent crash is all it took to wipe out a set of gem fans and the other the surveil zone props no they don't care excuse the noise there probably will be some on beside a busy road but um these what can i say i mean these props i mean you saw the crashes that i've had here um today and these props are just they're flawless they don't have any scuff well they've got dirt on them but that's all there's no damage there's no creases there's no bent bent bits they deliver they say that they are unbreakable i don't think they're unbreakable but they're as near as close to it as doesn't matter for someone nanofly like myself i've hit trees i've hit the ground i've you know um, i would have gone through normally three changes of props in the bit of flying we've done here today and these are still pristine and new and i wipe the mud off them they're good as gold you wouldn't even know they'd be flowing so i think from the point of view of toughness ruggedness these do have to get a thumbs up they really do they do deliver on that promise and as performance Meh, yeah, they're not a performance prop, but they're not sold as a performance prop, they're sold as a tough prop. So if you're getting tired of changing the gem fans or the, the HQs or whatever, hey, these are a pretty good investment. But don't buy too many because you won't need many because they don't break. Anyway, that's another review from RC Model Reviews. I've got to get back to the bench. I just had a win little window of opportunity here in the day, a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of um, break in the clouds. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. And uh, thank you for watching. Now, time for me to get back to the bench. <laughs>